Yeah, I'll let you watch the film clip because it's quite an in entertaining film clip. The Strange Brigade on their way to devil knows where at the start of yet another thrilling yarn of death defying deading do. Egypt again. Reminds me of that. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <interested>. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Evil never rests, so no can we. Just as long as it goes better than that mess of Patagonia. That's Jeremy Clarkson found out. Thank you, Gracie. Yes. Egypt again, Professor De Quincey. And this is why. Egypt. Land of ancient secrets. Yeah, all of these mummified. Uh, all of these story all of these um, levels are linked of you by a story. Owe your by one lives to the story, valuable but, uh, undercover work she does for the department. Veronica, an invaluable contributor to the brigade's efforts. Her last assignment was to join the dig expedition of Sir Edgar Harbin. A wealthy amateur Egyptologist oh, there's more searching to him than the eye. for the legendary tomb <laughs> of Sateki. Sateki? Yeah. A black-hearted fiend. Yes. The infamous witch queen of ancient Egypt. It's so beam Her final resting it. place has been <laughs> lost for millennia. <laughs> Miss Brownridge's task was to ensure I'll it remained so, but her so last well. communication indicated that Harbin had found the tomb. And was about to open it. We haven't heard from her since, and must now fear the worst. Oh dear, oh dear. Prepare yourselves, brigade. Secure the dig site and find the tomb. If Harbin has indeed opened it and freed the thing imprisoned inside, then who oh, no. knows what horrors <laughs> we will soon be facing. I hope you like this because it will be one of those sort of things that we can, you know, do the old occasional level on sort of thing. If we get like a kind of a guarantee down on one side, yeah, it's great little card. Yeah. I, mean, I did like Rebellion. I mean, like, <coughs> yeah, strange yeah. I sort of photoshopped some pics on there, sort of like Facebook page of like Carl and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Uh, nice. And, like, like, and then the war ceremony, and I kind of like there was all of them lined up, and I managed to get like a picture of Carl with a clear background, so I sort of superimposed that on it as well, so he was part of the lineup. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> he did to be in on it, I suppose, but yeah, indeed. You will yeah. notice a lot of similarities in the way the characters feel and move, and when you kind of aim, if you remember like shooting things without a sniper rifle in Sniper Elite, this is kind of how it feels, but. Um, yeah, it's, uh... So, yeah, you're... Here we go. What thrilling tales <laughs> what? of oh. war inspiring <laughs> adventures await our heroes today! What kind of, um, throwable weapon did you go for? Did you go for a normal grenade, or Tally -ho, a... Tally-ho, Brigade! Uh, uh, there's Molotov. work here to be done. Molotov, sweet. Careful with those, because they, they... When you throw, it doesn't actually go that far ahead of you. Like, if you want to test out a bit, if you push R1, you've got a melee, um... Which is okay, but it doesn't lock on, so it's easy to miss when you end up in the group. And if you push L1, you've got like an explosive, like mine's that thing. Don't go too near that. That's it will explode after a while, but enemies will run towards it, so it'll like cause them to run at it, and then it should explode in a sec. <laughs> there we go. Um, and the little counter on the side. That's it. I was watching you like arcing it, way boom, and it will cause an area to burn for a while. And the little meter next to your rifle, so you've got triangle to swap weapons. Oh yeah, weapons. the little crosshair that's drilling up, that's like that's the replay the of the, uh, yeah. Yeah, infinite ammo on your pistol, of course, like, of Reloading course, as here. you always get, but not infinite ammo on your other weapon, so keep an eye on that. Um, yeah, so here we go. So There's left, no left potions. Dead, basically, just, you know, where possible, use your pistols for hordes. Yeah, basically, yeah, and as I say, always try and get a headshot and stuff. Blocked you will break in into a random sprint no sometimes as well. Or she... Is this the end for our heroes? Uh, so it's a case of how do we get past here, but there are some barrels if you want to pop one of the barrels. Ah, success! Well played! Well pl now I want to test something here because there's some money on one of these benches and if I pick it up I want to see if we both get it. So I've just, I've just picked up uh, I now says ten coins. Has yours got ten coins? No. Is it not next to where the, next to where the health <laughs> bottle is? Is it really not? Nope. No, oh, this balls. is going to be first, first come first serve. Well, no, in all honesty, I've actually unlocked almost everything I want, so it's all yours. There's possibly some more in the other tent, so have a little. There might be some. I think near that typewriter, maybe. Oh, there's some on the side of that. There we go. Loads of money. Loads of money. Yeah, you will need quite a lot. Oh, yeah, 35. <laughs> That's not bad, yeah. As I'll leave most of the money for you. Uh, there's there's a book on that table that I didn't read. <laughs> oh, was it? Oh, we can go back. It's all right, we're not going over this yet, as you'll see. Bridge out! <laughs> This a bit Indiana Jones, isn't it? Some yeah. other way. It looks pretty, this game. I like the look of this. Gullibar! Gullibar! <laughs> nice. That scared the shit out of me when I was like about eight. 
<laughs> I'm freaking surprised it still does now, yeah. Yeah, if you go back and read all the, well, you don't have to actually read it, but as long as you collect them, uh, it'll give you some background, and also it counts as collectibles. If you head down here, you'll hear a meow sound in a minute, and it will mean the cats appeared behind us, and we have to shoot them, and if you get all six of them, there we go. Magical muggies! Uh, what so if you can see it, treasures oh, are they hiding? It oh, here it is, this blue thing next to me. If you shoot it, it'll pop, and then... There we go. And if you get all six of them, when you get to the end of the level, there's a room that's full of magical, mystical boggies made of gold. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, and then you get loads of money from those. If you shoot those little burning urns, it'll set fire to the thing. It's another little hidden area just in front of me there. So if you wanted to shoot that, and it'll burn that, and there'll be treasure and stuff in there. If you go in, and I think you have to push and hold square in that little bit, and you can open the treasure chest. As I say, this is all the intro level bit, so it's nice and easy to start with. There we go. Money! I can't believe it doesn't give us both the money, but there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Bastards. Wood, the ancient nemesis of all adventurers. How Wood. will our heroes ever hope to bypass such a thing? Huzzah! Now we're Onwards. about to get our first Strange enemies in a There's second. Uh, to be zombies, had. just normal kind of zombies. They're nothing too bad, but um, there's... I can't remember where all the traps are on this level either, so bear with me. You get a little oh intro clip. What's this? And you always get this little black and white freeze frame. Oh Lord, nefarious necromancy! <laughs> what horrific hocus pocus summons these cadaverous creations back to loathsome some life? <laughs> giggle. I love, I love the, I know, giggle. I know. So you, yeah, health bars are on on mine. Nice! That's it. Nice! These are, gonna say, the nice simple enemies. You have to collect the blue orbs fairly quickly or they will disappear. Um, and then, as I say, if you get if you get the... If you collect those blue orbs, it'll fill up your amulet and you can use that, like... Nice. Nice. I think there's some more coming around the corner. Oh, and that's ammo. That thing looks like a burning thing on the floor is ammo. So if you need any for your primary weapon, just feel free to burn. Uh, if you want to grab those few amulets. It's going to take us... Oh, Christ, hello, mate. It's going to take us even longer to fill up the amulets because there's um, two of us collecting the orbs now. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. This pistol is amazing. It's the only automatic sidearm there is. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I did scroll through a lot of the pistols and they were like, there's a massive padlock on all the good ones that was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, over time, if you do play this several times, you will start to unlock stuff quite quickly. Also, I would, sometimes I would, oh, guy, there's a guy again. There's a guy. Um, I would also save some of the explosive barrels in case you get enemies walking past them because it's good for traps. Oh, did you hear him meow? Yeah. Yeah, grab that potion as well because that's a health potion. There, there is, go. it's up there. Where is it? Oh, nice. I didn't see that. It kind of blends in sometimes. There's some treasure there in that chest. And there's also a locked gate. Yeah, there's a chest just there. Um, if you want to grab that. And there's a locked gate next to you. But we've got to go round for that. And I think we've got a puzzle coming up soon. Money! I know we're only literally like two minutes in. But what do you think so far? I think it's just that. Oh, yeah, yeah, looks rather interesting. Be awesome. I even did like a little funky roll. Yeah, you, oh, I forgot to tell you about that, sorry. Yeah, the dodge roll, which is absolutely yeah. crucially important. I forgot to tell you about that, yeah. <laughs> yes! I keep and dying all the time. Oh, did I not tell you about that? Abandoned... No. Yeah, about the block. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, you've got a gun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Seems right. Like... We need to get no, up I'm there to, use to harsh get language. that. <laughs> you are, sorry? What the hell am I supposed to use? Harsh language? Harsh language. <laughs> Uh, we need to shoot three little icons to open this gate, first of all. Um, there's ammo here. This is like a little um, camp area, so you can change your weapons if you want when you ever see these boxes, or you can use it to just refill ammo. I'm going to grab That's the other potion because I think you've still just got one. The stuff. Um, there is an ammo bag here. These are also little ammo bags with all the various shells and things floating around over. Um, is most there any way I assign that if I, I guess I just press up? on the, um, the D-pad to use the health thing, do I? Or... Uh, oh, hang on, let me think. One of them, if you press one of them, either up or down, it drops the potion and the other one uses it. Because you can actually drop a potion for somebody else to pick up, which is a nice touch. Yeah. Um, but I can't oh, remember which one. ammo over here, by the looks of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, feel free to stock up on ammo. I'm going to start using my primary because there is loads of ammo about, to be honest. Um, the thing we need to do here, there's three blue oh, those things uh, like on the wall. If you shoot the other one, Yes, and looks like one you're one on the one right track the, here, uh, blue Brigade. Disc thing on the floor. Huzzah! There we go. Success. Good that unlocks the main gate, but before we go up there, 
We're gonna head here. You see this glowing ring? I can think of a few good uses on that. Um, I shoot it. You set a trap off. You see the spinning blades of death behind it, and then that uh, will reset. I'm not worried about the earth. Get out of there. Hello, hello, mate. <laughs> what are you doing? Watch out. Jesus, nice. Oh, was that your? That was your, um, that was your grenade. I wish you said incoming before I threw the egg. <laughs> oh. If you shoot that, yeah, that's it. If you shoot that, it will set the trap off. Look at that, beast. That's the sort of thing I normally walk into. <laughs> I know, yeah, it is easy to do. And there are spike tra uh, traps as well, so watch out for them. And we do get a much, uh, much bigger variety of enemies coming up soon. It's not all, it's not just all these zombies, by the way, so you do get. There's giant scorpions coming up soon! That was pretty close. Yeah, you like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently there's no friendly fire, so that's good. Ah, oh, okay. I won't ask how you know that, but... <laughs> in my defence, you walked in front of me. <laughs> I had safety goggles on, it was fine, but... Oh yeah, I see, you just, yeah. Now, there's a way up to your left, or there's a way straight ahead, so it's wherever you want to go. And do keep, as I say, do keep sticking your head in these little tents because there's often ammo and money and stuff, so it's always worth exploring yeah, everywhere. I am See gonna... the one of them missing. Oh, That's a bad sign. Yeah, I hear noises. Oh, that's option. oh, you'll get a, like an oh sound if you get a headshot. It sounds like a kind of a slightly quieter sounding oh sound. Um, like that. I don't know if you know, it's probably. Taking my sensitivity down a little bit. <laughs> it was a little bit tricky. <laughs> yeah, I had to do that on mine. It was a little bit, yeah. Nice. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh no, I just um, threw one of the decoy grenade things. Nice. Yeah, I know you got to use the old environment wherever you can. Yeah, so there should be quite a bit of ammo lying about for your primary, so. Nice. So, um, feel free to use your primary quite a bit. Oh, there's a guy in that cage. Weapon empty. We like nice. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a chest on the boat, if you want to grab that. Unfortunately, we can't actually use the boat, but um, there should be gold yeah, in there. Hang on a minute, he's he caught on me again, two seconds. Oh, yeah, cool. Do you apologise? That's right, cool. Uh, yeah, we just got to think I'm up saying you will be removed from the game lobby if you stay idle for too long. Did you say that? Rude? Yeah. Jesus, that's weird. I did, it did nothing came up on mine. <laughs> I, I, I just got a trophy. From what? Uh, what was it called? I, I, I'm, I'm guessing, going by the words I saw at the start, um, it says Wonder Sot Simply Ruh. So I'm guessing it's like a Mordor reference, it's like uh, one does not simply rush through Mordor. <laughs> oh right, okay, one does not si Oh nice, I haven't got that one, I'll have to, I'll have to do the same. That's, that's awesome, good luck. There are some uh, really funny achievements. <laughs> After I shot it I remember what it did. <laughs> oh yeah, the, uh, the, the blaze of death. <laughs> there are other traps as well, so do a little bit... Oh hello, cautious about somebody. Yeah, this is like kind of B-movie British uh, Left for Dead. Oh, there's some money in that pot where you just shoot that gun. I just saw a glimpse of coin. Caged oh. dead chaps. Yeah, some yeah you've got to have a fairly sharp eye for some of these bits. They do tend to kind of stay hidden. And always, yeah, use the environment wherever possible to kill uh... Whee! Hello, mate. Oh, crazy. Oh, Jesus Christ. That, that's some of these mummies explode. glorious <laughs> gold. <laughs> Yeah, health potion. I can't remember which which is which, but so I say one of them is down and one of them is is uh, yeah, one of them is drop and one of them is use. But we'll we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> oh, another health potion there and some money in there if you need it. <laughs> nice. Um, if you want it, as we're not coming back here. Oh, cross this guy behind you. As we're not coming back here, if you wanted to try and take a health potion and then just replace it with the one you grabbed, have you been injured at all? Because then at least you know which button uh, it is. Not massively. I mean, it's up to you. I, I, yeah, I can't remember which one it is. And I think at the top of here... Oh, there's some more money. Oh, yeah, these chests. I was going to say, those chests give you an extra weapon. That you Basically, you, you kind of have to take that now. Um, but it does cost you coin that you've picked up to open them. And they are only for this one bit. When it runs out of ammo, that's it. 
Yeah. Uh, so you only get them for like they're best saved for boss fights and things. When that you can't reload that weapon that you've picked up now. You can change off it. You can carry all three weapons now. But yeah. um, as soon as it's out of ammo, that's it. It's gone basically. So uh, yeah. When it's gone, it's gone. Really? Yeah, exactly. So it's a case of use it carefully. But uh, yeah. Oh, a few more coins in the tent. There we go. Um. Yeah, and as I say, they do cost money. I don't tend to get them, to be honest, the weapons, because I, I tend to find I don't need them. I might very quickly grab some more ammo. There is going to be a new enemy appear in a sec. Uh, where's that ammo going? Ammo. Ammo. Bullets. There we go. Oh, oh, oh! I nearly missed this. I nearly completely missed this. There's a puzzle over here. Crap. And an enemy. Oh. And a half plate. And a half plate, yeah. If I use this, now the way this puzzle works, um, those three icons, don't, don't, don't shoot them yet, don't shoot them yet, because you only get three goes to get this right. The way it works, this is a very simple one because it's the first one, but they get a lot harder. You've got to shoot them from left to right in order that they are above the door. If you get it right, you only get three attempts to get them right though. Um, yeah, so it's basically scarab, legs, whatever the hell that thing is, and then, yeah, so if you want to shoot them in the correct order, and once you've done all six, the door will open. Right. <coughs> So shoot what scarab first. Scarab first, then the kind of legs thing. Okay. Uh, and then the middle one. And then top one. The tension. And then two of the middle ones. Nice. Done it. Nice. Um the way they get harder later on is they're not near the where the puzzle door is, so you have to actually go and remember what the sequence is and then come back and do it on the door. Um, so yeah, as you can imagine, that's a lot more difficult when you're like, was it Scarab or was it... And they're all different symbols, and they're different every time you play through the level as well, which is quite cool. Mobile phone for the rescue. <laughs> Done it, isn't it? It's a case of having to take photos, yeah. Is that your Molotov? Hey, my god, they were on fire. Nice. My ammo looks full, so I can't now pick up any more of those blue orbs. Um, there's some gold coins down the corner. There we go. Not just round the floor. Need to reload. And is it is that a one-hit deal? Is it with the amulet? Uh, it depends what you've got. Some of them do different or... things. Oh, there's some coins just behind you on the floor. Just over there. Just by here. That's it. Um, it depends what you do. So different amulets do different things. An obscure find. If you want to open sure, that, well it should give you effort. a relic. And once you get a full set of relics, you um, you can unlock a new amulet An ability. An ancient antiquity. A new addition for the Brigade Private Collection, methinks. And there's a chest just behind you as well, so if you want to open that, feel free to nick whatever's inside that as well. It's yeah. not best if you put it in... I wish you would say more on the little... <laughs> Is that, um, was that another achievement, you mean, was that? Or? Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I see. Yeah, no, don't give you long enough to read it. On the Xbox, you get it says achievement unlocked, and then the whole thing pings up on the screen next to it, so you get a bit more time, but, uh, yeah. But not on this. You see how long that oil's burning? It's still going. Frickin so you have to be careful <laughs> what you set on fire. Yeah. Oh, enemy coming up now, scorpions, and they do a, they burrow on the ground, and they roll from side to side. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Enjoy. Here we go. Look at the size of these blighters! Blighters! With <laughs> gunplay! <laughs> He's not keen on bed, is Those he? Oh! Shells are gonna take <laughs> nice! Yeah, they say they do this annoying. Oh, gross, roll thing underground! Eek! I don't really want a fist fight with this bloody thing, eek! There we go, nice. What's he after? <laughs> uh, he's already had like two small oranges, and if he has any more, he'll just be. Oh, yeah, it has the effect on his. Yeah, it's quite a lot of acid, Hooey. I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, would, it would be great, yeah, yeah. Uh, right, we've got options. Do you want to go left, or do you want to go right, or do you want to go up the middle? It's entirely up to you. Why do I keep getting a circle up here above their heads? It means that your amulet's ready to use, and on that enemy. So it looks like the amulet you've got at the moment is primarily for one enemy. Um, but yeah, so I would save that for a boss enemy. Mine's doing the same, because I'm trying out a new one. But I would save that for an enemy. Um, there we go. 
Uh, so yeah, so, so you've got left, middle, or up, so we try the left one. I, have, I can't really remember which is which, but let's have a little browse. They sh let's always listen out for cat. Oh! Speak of the devil, where is that? Oh, there it is. Reloading okay. here. Three out of six, nice. As I say, if you get six out of six, you get a lot of money at the end of it. Oh! Oh, 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 traps, I remember this. There's a swinging log trap somewhere along here, so... So get going slowly. <laughs> Nice! Jesus. Good bird of space! You got loads of money for doing that. <laughs> you like something? You got loads of money for doing that. Yes, that's. I've chucked a decoy grenade, and there is some other trap there. Oh, it's a spike trap. That one, instead of being a spinny blade trap, it's a spike one. Oh, and there's another one. That other red orb above the doorway is another kind of trap. What does that do? Oh, nice! Okay. Nice. Ammo. Lovely stuff. Nice, I was actually running out of ammo. Yeah, so this spike strip trap here, I might wait for some of them to walk onto it. And also, what does this thing do? Oh, okay, like that, I see. Nice! How many health bars? <laughs> nice! <laughs> nice, so either they're all on fire and then there was me shooting the little trap bit, or, or one of us got it anyway, yeah. And then there's a, um... That spike trap Jesus. next to you as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's a health drink next to you if you need it. I don't know if you've taken one. Um. Yeah, there you go. Nice. So was it up or down on the D-pad? I can't uh, remember. It's up to take it. <laughs> Good man if I do. <laughs> do <not> mind if <laughs> I do. <laughs> I love the dialogue of this. There's a chest just ahead if you want to open that, there'll be some money in there, there'll be need ammo and stuff. I think when we activate this, a load of enemies will appear below us, but they're miles away so it's not too much of a problem. I don't know what's in there. Nice. Money, I guess. And then this is the key, I don't know if you remember Yonks ago when we were over by that gate down there, it said like we need to find a key, this is the key here, so I'll grab this, wrong button. And this should spawn a load of enemies in, uh, below us, but yeah. We do have to go back down anyway, so I'm going to start heading that way. That's pretty good, actually. Oh, wait, I've just chucked a decoy grenade. You're supposed to go after it, you bastards. Nice, just seeing these kind of shots ricochet against the way. Yeah, when you unlock better weapons, it combat gets a bit easier as well, because I suppose you're, you're on the sort of basic weapons at the minute, whereas the ones I've got are kind of one hit kills at the minute, which makes a big difference, I've got to say. But yeah, it doesn't take long to unlock stuff. Yeah, the is not really made for that range, to be honest. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not overly, no. Hello, an explosive barrel. Damn it. <laughs> nice! Is there any way to cancel throwing a uh, thing once you press L1? Or, or... Uh, I don't know, I've never tried it, to be honest. Um, <laughs> probably. You know, sort of times I've held it down and realised actually everyone's pretty much nearly dead. <laughs> how, how do I get out of this now? <laughs> how do I get out of this one? Thankfully it doesn't take too long to um to, to rebuild again, you know, so if uh, you know you can always just let it recharge. I'm gonna Picking grab some, some ammo. ammo from here. Now when I open this things do amp up a little bit because you get not there are scorpions, normal zombies, and then there are normal zombies, and then there's also enemies that throw spears at us from miles away, so I'll try and focus yeah. on them because I've got a long range weapon. Um yeah. there we go. Way ahead open! Onwards, brigade! There's so, murderous yeah, mysteries I'll try and, and pick sinister off the secrets to be spear uncovered throwing here. guys first. You'll get a little film clip like you always do every time a new enemy comes in. Um, and then it'll all kick off. There is a trap thing ahead that you can probably see. Um, just over, like, there. That thing out. with the blades. Um, there is that, and I think there's one over to the left as well. Yeah, there is another one to the left. Again, we can go left, middle, or right when, we, when we've when we triggered these enemies. So, yeah. I'll try and pick off these snipers in a minute. Where are they? Any second now. Come on, there we go. Crikey! Who the devil's throwing spears about? Crikey! <laughs> oh no! Armored attackers! Watch out, strange brigade! I love this game. Anyway, right, so yeah, I thought. Oh, oh God. Joe! Someone certainly doesn't want our heroes reaching that. And they do sight. run up to you, and they are a bit armored as well, these guys. Oh, Christ! 
Oh, I'm scorpion. <laughs> Okay, where's that other one? There's one more throwing spears about, but I can't see him. Where is he? I'll freak it out, I see Don't you do it, you gimp, you absolute gimp! Ah, they could stop you! Yeah, dodge roll is incredibly handy at, uh, to get out of, uh, out of pickles. Nice, killed it. Way! Killed a temple guard with um, a trap. Where are you effing? Oh, Benny, that was close. Oh, there's another one throwing spears. Hang on, I'm just going to try and get around and target him. There he is. There he is. Oh, not megged him. There we go. Oh, shit. He's almost dead. How you doing? There's a very scorpion still around. Okay, I think I've tagged him. Oh. You can, if an enemy's on the floor, you can run up and push R1 and it'll like, um, it do a finishing move on the ground. Stop him. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, the reason they catch fire is because my weapon's got, like, a fire elemental thing attached to it, so that's why everyone first gets the play. Fuck it hell, I didn't see all these. They must have come up behind the other ones. No! Nice. Yeah, the melee's okay if you can get it right. There we go. It's just it's quite easy to miss enemies with that. That's the first of the kind of um, little mini rush modes there. So, so yeah, you've got options here. You can go up those kind of path on the left. I'm going to grab some more ammo from here. Um, you can go up the middle or you can go up the, up the right. It depends where you want to go. Where, any preference? Um, whichever, really. Let's, uh, let's try up here. I can't remember what's up here, to be honest. Let's have a little look up is the right ever, side. Do we shoot anything for here, or is it blocked on? <gasps> is it anything what, sorry? Oh, the, uh, oh I, we looks like we might come back on that from some other way. I don't think we can get through that way. We Often you find yourself kind of ending up back where you were, but from the other side of fences and stuff. Yeah, there's a way up here, I think. I think they also climb when you just walk towards walls. Yeah. Walls. You see, you see what I mean? They're fairly open, but not like open. open. Oh, okay. Fuck off! Nice! Have you still got your kind of. Oh, Christ! Your special weapon you got from that chest thing! Yeah. Nice. Did I hit this bloody one? There we go. Suck it out. I can hit that guy. Oh! oh. What could trap. those triggers what it does. mean? Lovely loot! Oh, spikes. Or some devious death trap. See, this is the sort of thing where you can easily F me right up <laughs> when I'm walking over the spikes. <laughs> really rather you didn't, but... Uh... Uh... Oh, here we are. We are on the other side of that bit now. I see. I see. Oh, um, again, I'm... Yeah, I, I'm not going to, and I wouldn't, rec I wouldn't necessarily recommend it because you've already got one, and it'll cost you a thousand coins. Um, what's up here? <gasps> Again, I don't actually technically know where I'm going, I'm just going to sort of, this is part of what the game is about, it's just like, let's see what happens. Um, um, I know where we need to end up, and it's kind of, sort of over to the left, but there might be a way through here. Ah! Oh god. Start hearts, chaps. It takes more oh, than a terrifying tunnel to frighten the strange brigade. I did throw a, oh, uh, what do you call it, a, uh, nice, nice! Burning scorpion! Burning scorpion! Eek! <laughs> what terrifying when they're on fire. I mean, it's just like witches in Left 4 Dead. <laughs> oh, he squeaked! I felt quite bad about that one. He kind of squeaked at me. Oh! Eh, see, I co- Way! I totally missed the melee attack and I got way- I actually did, he got killed then. Eek! Nice. Okay, now again, I don't know whether we're supposed to go left or right or... Oh, you can... Oh, you see where there's little kind of uh, black clouds on the floor? That's where there's um, stalactites above. So if you shoot it at the right moment, you should be able to drop a stalactite on an enemy. Like that! Nice. Yeah. Reloading here. There we go. Nice. It's all about getting it. Oh, crap. Not so nice. 
fuck did you do? I know I did that, I'm sorry! I didn't mean I was not expecting that to be honest. Look sharp, good aid. Yeah, that's what I mean, if they do get up to you, they do actually, even the weak ones, do pack quite a punch to be honest, yeah. Nice. Nice. Bloody hell. Oh. Oh, and they, some, some of them have bits of armour on as well, which obviously it does less damage if you hit the armour, unsurprisingly. Oh! Okay, that was a bit weird. What happened there? Oh. I still haven't used my amulet yet. Have you have you tried yours yet at all? Uh, not yet. A little bit. It's a very true kind of well, coral mode when you get a headshot. Yeah, I know that kind of oh, kind of sad. Yes, you know you've done it. You get more coin that way as well. Oh, here we go. One of these. There's one of those puzzle things, but I don't know where the I don't know where the solution for it is. Uh, what cryptic conundrum I has been stumbled upon here? Um, so Whoa. it's one of them. Then it's the what is it next? Then there's the person on their knee. Then what is it? Uh, crown. Crown. Yep. Zombie. Oh. <laughs> Nice! Cross the way, punch him across the floor. Then another crown, is it? Is it dead? Oh! Nice! Oh no! <laughs> you saw him like fully explode then. Uh, and it's what person, and then. I'll crown. be having that. Nice. <laughs> there you go! Oh! This bit. Uh, oh, another chest. And another chest, actually. there's a, there, Those big chests there that you're about to open, they're the ones that contain the special relics. So, um, yeah, they're the kind of ones to look out for. When you get a complete set of four, then I'll say you unlock a new amulet. Nice. I'm actually running fairly low on primary ammo, actually, so I'm going to have to be a bit... Can we go through here? Oh, yeah, you can. Nice. Chest in there. Oh, more enemies behind, I see. Do the coins come to me, even if I don't go and get them, or do the I have to The go coins and get them? do, yeah, the coins do, but the blue orbs don't. Um, so, <coughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a chest up ahead if you want that. Which I didn't know was there, because it was, it was actually behind a kind of boarded off wall bit, so it's got wall, so yeah, it's quite good that was there. Nice. More money. Again, as the other later levels do get more difficult and varied than this, it's just because this is less like the intro level, so yeah. Yeah, uh, I did have to use my health potion a while back because I was just like, I'm 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 no, I was kind of shooting over the over the valley bit. Was there, What happened? Was there a stalagmite came down? Yeah, something just come off the uh, bloody ceiling. And then... <laughs> oh, that's weird. You didn't. Uh, okay, I've still got a grenade. You haven't like accidentally lobbed a grenade. I haven't or anything. I've still got my grenade in that. So that's weird. Okay. Ah, just what I need. Ooh, I just shot a vase and got one. Oh before. yeah, there's three types of um, collectibles. There's the cats, canopic jars, and there's something else as well. But um, oh, there's money on the floor there as well. Um, uh, and unfortunately, the cats are the only ones that tell you when they're nearby. The others you've actually got to spot, which is quite freaking difficult. What a view! It may not be England. But it's still jolly impressive. <laughs> it may not be England. I love the narrator in this. Um, yeah, so there's three different types of collectibles, and you get different rewards for each one. Where the hell are you? Okay. I know that there's this bit in a minute. When you go up to when when I go up to this crystal, there's a big giant blue crystal in the minute. When I push and hold R2, it will kind of the crystal will explode after a few seconds, and we're going to get mobbed like everywhere. So be a bit cautious. How is your health okay? Have you got full ammo and all that kind of thing? Full grenade? Um, uh, as good as it will be, to be honest. As good as it will be. I mean, you feel free to do it yourself if you want, but as soon as you've done the crystal bit, it will all kick off from all sides. Um, and there's a little red icon thing behind it, and that lights up as we kill enemies. There are traps about as well. So... Oh, have I got to do it as well? 
Oh, it's in the grunge after there. Oh, there we go. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know, because I said I've got a single player, so I don't need the one here. I didn't mean running off to find a good place to hide. Oh, these guys, yeah, they have armor, so you got to try and chip the armor off first, yeah. And what's this? More undead corpses rising to the occasion, and the blighters are wearing armor! How jolly unsporting of them. Crap. Thankfully, I've got a relic that kind of oh, and loads of loads of uh, things as well. Scorpion. Ooh. It's actually just easy just to say loads of everything. Ooh. Yeah, I really wait for some of these to kind of come towards us a bit, and then I'll try and activate the trap thing. But. Uh, Crap, 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 kill the scorpion! There we go! <laughs> nice! Nice! <laughs> That's my amulet. <laughs> oh, nice! Okay, I did wonder what that was. I just saw everyone explode, I was like, what, what happened there? Eek! Jesus! Yeah, oh. basically, there is a whole kind of area you can move in, so, like, if you need to kind of get out, there's other areas to go to around here. Oh, F off! Oh, you're right. I just got a little thing saying spider is surrounded. You're right. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Just relocated. <laughs> you're relocated. <laughs> ah, you you son of a bitch. Ammo. Ah, oh, you. Get off. Christ, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> There's so many. I'm like at the point now where it doesn't matter what direction I shoot it, I'm gonna hit somebody. <laughs> <laughs> There's just so many of them. Yeah, right, so you're surrounded. Yeah, I kind of was for a second. I used the old decoy grenade then to uh, get right, the red off. <laughs> to what? You are, sorry? I'm nearly dead. Oh, wait, there might be a health post about. Do you need one? I've got a spare one. Uh, that side? That's like the, the last red section. Um. <laughs> oh. oh. Whereabouts are you? I hear gunshots, but I can't actually see you. Oh, I see you. Oh, also, if you get down to really low health, you should find an enemy. You might see a skeleton or whatever carrying a health potion. If you can kill him, you can pick it up and use it. The game tends to throw them in when you get low on health. It's like the game's way of saying, like, I can see there's a uh, death is incoming. Have a health potion, kind of thing. So, yeah. Nice. Nice! One piece of unearthly Ooh. evil destroyed. <laughs> oh, thanks to the splendid so efforts of a you, strange um, Do you need a health potion? Because I can drop mine if you want it. Ammo. Um, is there stuff. going to be any coming up soon? Or I don't know, to be honest. Fun. They tend to be a bit random. Um, I'll drop this one. What is it, up or down to drop? Uh, down to drop. <laughs> I've just heard it. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't want to accidentally do that. Yeah. Nice. Ah, oh, that's better. I've got blue in my health bar now. <laughs> yeah, I've got some blue. Yeah, it, that's the thing. When they're at a distance, you're like, oh my god, they're miles away. This is easy. But then when they start to surround you... Oh, Christ. The there, there's get... no kind of scanner to let you know that you're surrounded either. <laughs> no, you you do get a couple of hands that come towards you showing you the direction of enemies. I don't know if you noticed that before or... Like, it looks... It makes it look like an enemy's kind of creeping up on you, but that only happens when they're very close. Yeah. Not very close. Yeah. <laughs> See you grabbing all them blue orbs. I forgot to get them. So I've got to use my hand. Incoming like, uh... enemies and a trap-laden archway. Think fast, brigade. Yeah, the the archway coming up has got like a swinging pendulum thing in it, which is quite good. And there are there are a lot of it. Oh, Christ! Talk of the devil. There are a lot of enemies incoming. Oh, no. Yeah, the spikes are really good against oh, sugar. Against us. Uh, well, everything basically. It's like one hit kill. There we go. Nice. And I'd say the pendulum is pretty good for. Oh. Nice! Oh, Christ, it's all got a bit raw shrift! Ah! <laughs> Get away from me! Look at you, stingy bastard. I know, you stingy bastard, yeah. F off! 
Well, he's not there, that's rude. <laughs> <laughs> he's just there. Can they get on us down? Yeah, those armoured ones will say the old, um... Uh, the pistol doesn't do a huge amount of damage against him, sadly, but, uh... Damn it, I use that there. Really. We're keeping them at bay. Sort of. I mean, we're nearly through to Harbin's proper dig site, which is where we're, where we're, where we're headed, basically. Nice slip staggering about. I almost feel sorry for the poor guy. He's like, I just want to come up to where you are. This is how Murphy felt in Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like, give me an effing chance. I'm sorry. I haven't even got a gun. This isn't the first time. I got this problem. I don't like mummies. <laughs> they don't like me, so I don't like mummies. <laughs> oh! Oh, I hear, I hear fisty cuffs. Are you punching someone then? Oh. <laughs> nice, nice. Teamwork! Some ammo over here, thank you. Just yeah. what I, I need. Think I think there are some more in the second way in a minute. Yes. I think. Yeah, because there's no scanner, is there? So I can't tell what people nope. behind me. <laughs> Nope, there isn't. I'd say, if they're very close, you tend to get that little, uh, like, hands icon, but yeah, not not a lot. Reloaded. Reloaded. <laughs> oh, I echo. Come on! Oh! Bloody hell! Hey, bad bum. Hey, bad bum. The old gun does look like a beast. <laughs> it's, it's really powerful. It's almost guaranteed one hit on pretty much every enemy, but if you miss, you are in a bit of... It does take a second to reload. I've got a, uh, a thing on it that basically improves the rate of fire, so it'd be even slower than this normally, so, yeah. But this is one of the near-end game weapons, to be honest. But... I have found a way to do it. If you press L1 to do it, if you then press triangle while well, you're still holding yeah. L1, the uh, weapon change will override the melee, the grenade throw. Oh, okay. Nice. So, yeah, yeah. Handy to know. Things you learn through necessity. Our heroes <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. arrive at the dig site, but yet there's still no sign of their Oof, quarry. Nice. Uh, there is a puzzle room there, but I can't remember how we activate we it, just to, to the left. But I can't, found and open that too. can't remember how we get in there. Oh, ammo, Search if you need it. Full of corpses. So I do. Find and kill the thing that made those corpses. Yeah, you can change your weapon if you want to try out some other weapons, if you want to feel free to, you know, whether that's grenade or amulet or whatever you've got, if you want to change something, feel free. I don't think, it, yeah. it doesn't let you buy and unlock things yet, do I think you have to wait till the end of the level, I think. I might be wrong actually, but I think so. But there's no enemies about them. So is range pretty much the same for all of them then? It's not a lot of difference, to be honest. I mean... Yeah, because of... The I accuracy. noticed in a massive difference between like any kind of rifles, shotties or pistols, it all seems to be just more damage rate of fire and accuracy. It tends to be. I mean, the, the, the weapon I'm using at the moment, the kind of Enfield type thing, it does, it hits really hard at a long range, whereas a shotgun obviously hasn't got quite as much range on it. But um, there are also, in those little chests that you have to pay money to open, unique weapons that you can't buy and unlock. There's things like flamethrowers, there's a scarab launcher, there's a crossbow, there's all sorts of things, but you can only get those from buying them while you're playing a level, if you know what I mean. So, you, yeah, not all the weapons that you're seeing there are the ones in the game. There are others, but you can only, yeah, you have to... Just use them kind of one off, but um, you might prefer other like, non Molotov grenades as well. It's entirely up to you. Which is give you know give things give use this as a kind of an opportunity to give things a go. See what you think. What is it you said about dynamite? Dynamite's good. Already. It's got a massive blast radius, but you do have to shoot it again to actually detonate it. Otherwise, it takes forever to explode. It's got a fuse of something ridiculous. So. Yeah, I might just go for standard grenades, see how I get on with them. Yeah, see what you think, and I'll say there's other, yeah, there other, might be other weapons. And at the end of this level, you should have enough to unlock stuff. But as I say, it's up to you whether you want to hang on to money and then do some more levels and then buy a really powerful weapon later on, or you want to kind of, you know, just try the next one up, because obviously the better weapons cost more, unsurprisingly. Uh, right. Now we need to there. go in here, but I can't remember how we... This. Right. So I'm not I'm not gonna activate anything until you're until you're ready. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is that? Oh we need to find another key. Well, there's the lock, but how to get the key? Best get key. looking, brigade. 
Have you got a decent amount of coinage so far? Because I'm at about 6,000. Oh! Enemies. I've got 5,297. Oh. Eek! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There are. I've been backed into a corner by a big ass scorpion, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you need to do about it. Oh. I just throw no decoy, but I don't think. I think that was nice! <laughs> so you punt him off the ledge. Nice! Oh shit, I'm not gonna punch him. <laughs> <laughs> I have thrown a decoy, but I don't think it really did very much. Yeah, you're gonna pop oh, up there. Oh, right! Come on, mate. It's just like so nearly clipped that barrel that you're standing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd rather you didn't, yeah. <laughs> Ah, we've got to shoot three more of these things. There's three of these more blue of these things. There's some coins just up. over side there, um, on the right. Someone doesn't want our heroes getting inside this tomb. Oh, there's tomb. another special weapon, but... It's only 500, I'm going to buy it, why not? Just to see what it is. Because we have got a big boss fight coming up in a minute. Oh, a blunderbuss! Never had one of those. Nice. Only got 12 shots. Oh, hello, mates! Oh, Christ, I wasn't supposed to be on it. Damn it. Have you changed your primary weapon at all? Yep. Yeah. I've changed to uh Ammo. Well I changed both actually, so yeah, I've changed the pistol and the uh, uh primary weapon now an SMG. Look out behind you. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> What's that mean? Oh this is on the floor. Is that a puzzle? Uh, yeah, we'll have to solve that in a minute. I don't know where. Um, they should all run towards the uh, the the, 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 the decoy. Yeah, the grenade as well. <laughs> I, know, I saw that. That was awesome. It was like normal normal decoy. Because the decoy grenade explosion isn't very powerful. It's more of a distraction tool rather than a. That's a really... Burn. Really. Twelve of them in a row, how am I not hitting any of them? There we go. There we go. Shit, I'm down to sixteen ammo. Oh, ammo. Ammo. I just think it's been so long since we've done a proper, like, just fun co-op shooter. Just like, you know, like this kind of thing. With a story, just, you know, but nothing that's too kind of intense. Just to kind of... Christ, am I? What was that? Oh, it's just... Oh, somebody set up a hilarious prank of a kind of a... A random mummy on a on a thing. <laughs> uh, the thing. Oh. way that we can get back to the place where we changed our weapons, we might switch this back. Will yeah, 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 we can. We'll go back there in a sec. We we just got to. Um, there might be some collectibles about here. I don't know. There's the SMG. There wasn't many over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. SMG is all right, but I kind of got used to the uh, the big repeater. Yes, huzzah! Yeah, no, that's fair enough. We, we we can go back to that trunk before we go to the boss. Um, I've hit two out of three of those blue disc things. If you see another one on the wall, um, feel free to peg it. Reloading weapon. There's sometimes money in pots. It is it is worth smashing pots and crates because there are sometimes uh, there are money in it. <laughs> good English. Oh, where did you not come from? Yeah, the rifle I've got. I'm not resounding boom from your rifle. It is a beast. I have to say, it is an absolute, and it does it kills nearly everything in one hit. But it is um, it is expensive. It's like the one from the end on the on the primary weapon. It did cost a lot, it was like 56 grand, I think, or something like that. Jesus, there's a lot of you lot. I'm coming with a scorpion behind me. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything behind me? You, you don't want to know. <laughs> just just don't look behind me. Running. Yeah. <laughs> just keep running. It's, yeah, it's nice that they attack each other as well, rather than just... Yeah. And there's a... Game, there's like a say, in that Skyrim one where those people like, came across like a... A were bear or something, and I knew there was like a, a troll near me. And she's like, "No, oh, that's all right. I just see the were bear near, near the troll." I was like, "Oh my god, they've teamed up!" <laughs> <laughs> this was not the plan. <laughs> this is not what you're supposed to do. Oh, that's a shot over shot. Yeah, there's a massive minotaur thing that we have to fight later on, and it just it just charges in a straight line towards you. And if you're near it, any enemies or friendly. Friendlies and enemies just get punted out of the way. That's the box, by the way, if you want to change it. Yeah. Nice little brick. <laughs> nice little brick, yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> nice little. I love the dialogue in this game, it's so funny. No, I'm gonna activate this puzzle, but I don't puzzle, but I don't know where um I don't know where the solution is. We're actually pretty close to the end of this level already, actually. There's just this one more tomb bit and then Oh, there's a canopic jar above you. I haven't got that one yet. Oh and also what's good is I've got four out of four now, yeah. It remembers, so if you play through this level again, the ones you've shot won't be there next time, so it does kind of remember yeah. it. So, yeah, which is a nice little touch. Ah, oh, there's the other. Hi, Joe. I think you've cracked it. Now, there's a puzzle room here, but I'm not sure... I can't remember where the actual puzzle bit is. Like, this door with the symbols that we have to shoot. But I yeah. wouldn't just try and guess it, because you only get three attempts. But I don't know where the actual solution is for that one. I can't remember. Um, um. But it is probably... Oh, there's another cat on there as well. Meow, meow. I had a cat once. Once. <laughs> <laughs> he does seem to hate cats. Yeah, he does. He does mention this several times about this. Oh, these filthy feline fiends and things like that. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Dude, let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a cat. Where's uh, where's the solution to this bloody puzzle? Um... It won't be too far from where the the door is. Oh! Ah, what's this? Aha, the key to success! Well found, Brigade! Oh, there's a potion in here, and two chests if you want in here. I've just run in this, um... Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see this gate though. It lets me know where you are, that's... Yeah. that's handy. Yeah, I've done the main bit, but there's two chests there. I was still trying to find where the, um... Oh! Which one's that? That's a... That's, a, that's one you can put in your weapons. Beacon. Oh, there's the puzzle above the door. I've just seen it. Nice. Ah, if you... Right, if you wait in here, I'll go out to where the other door is, and if you tell me the order of them, I'll be ready to shoot them. Uh, so, the three symbols I've got, I've got, like, a bird thing, oh, I've got, like, puzzle. a kind of wobbly line on top there. bit, and then a pair of legs. So what's the first one? Right. It's the, um, blob with a wiggly line above it. Okay, yep. Then the legs. Yep. Wiggly blob. Yep. Wiggly blob. Yep. <laughs> legs. Uh, yep. And legs. We're in. Nice! Teamwork! <laughs> yeah, that gem thing you picked up. Certain high-end weapons, like the rifle I've got, have got spaces for augments, which is what oh. you've got. And I think you've got yep. one that when you kill an enemy, it um, gives you health, which is pretty good. There's a chest in there for nice. you. Feel free to you my chest not good enough? <laughs> my chest not good enough. <laughs> well, honest opinion, I genuinely won't be offended, whatever you say. What do you think of this game? I, I like it. I, I do actually like it. It's really cool. I, I freaking no, love it. Once I've got used to it, because it was one of those that I didn't want to play by myself, and then, like, um, you know, well, because I mean, what you say by the multiple paths and that, it's not like, you know, one playthrough would actually just ruin everything. Well, I do seem to be slightly cursed with like a, an eidetic or <clears throat> at least photographic memory. Yeah. Which is why it's really annoying playing things like Hitman or Skyrim. It's just like, oh, that's right, I'll play it differently this time and then things will come as a surprise. It's like, no, I still remember exactly what you need. <laughs> still remember. <laughs> well, oh dear. Oh, what I'm doing is I'm deliberately... A a sombre minute. moment like for the brigade time. here. Poor Veronica's paid the ultimate price, it would seem. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Um, I'm, te I'm sort of it's telling you bits on this, ones. but when if we do other levels in future, I'm learning? probably not going to tell you much deliberately, just to keep things as a bit of a surprise. But I mean, this is just to get the hang of the basics, really. But uh... yeah. Now this puzzle is quite an interesting one. There's oh a there's a God. there's a good mix <laughs> yeah. of puzzles in this. Do you see what you have to do? It's just a floor panel thing. You've got to tread on them in the right order. Um, yeah, is this helps. No, uh, really, no, I don't yeah. think there is actually a jump. You have no. to go round. So the oh, first one. Be happy. <laughs> you, I know. Why? <laughs> Why is there no jump? So the first one is the what looks like the one on the bottom left. Um, yeah, I think I'm coming at this from the wrong side. There's a health potion over there if you want it. I I've currently got one and I've got like three quarters of my health. So it's up to you if you wanted it. Yeah, I've got one and I've got about three quarters. So. Oh, and there's another puzzle in the same room on the right side, but we'll worry about that in a minute. Um, right. So, so yeah. If I walk onto the bird. Yep. And then, word, apparently. 
And then it looks like it's the double thing next to you, so straight ahead of where you're facing. That's it. <laughs> and then I burp, burp. <laughs> Very slow rendition of that. Oh! I think you kind of accidentally yeah. backtrod on the same one twice by accident. Um, if you come back off to the bird... Yeah, you go back to the start one. You don't get hurt or anything from failing this puzzle, but if you... That's it, and then go on to the one... That's it, and then Wait. fall onto there. Yeah, you got to be careful, it's quite twitchy. Way, And then forward again, I think. And then onto the cup thing. Who's that? What is that? Oh, do I have to do that one? Because on... Oh, maybe I have to do this yeah, one. Because <laughs> on the single player, they're always next to each other. Uh, uh, and then what's the last one? Uh, yes! Nice! I love I love the fact that because this is co-op, it made us do it in co-op. In single player, yeah. they're all connected, so you you like obviously they have to be. That's really clever of the game to do that. I love that. Oh, that's a genius touch. And now this yeah. one, if you want to have a crack at that, because I know what that puzzle is, so if you want to have a go at that one, if you push and hold right trigger when you near that, it will reveal what the puzzle is. It's just like the Bioshock hacking, basically, as you'll see. Nice bit of pocket change. Uh, so basically, you've got to get the white beam to kind of go all the way to the other uh, head right. next to it. So you'll have to basically, each time you shoot it, it rotates, you've got to shoot. It's all about shooting this game. You shoot everything in this game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so if you shoot the one underneath it, that's it. And then you'll have I've to kind of... got to get it down to where? Uh, it's got to go up to the uh, bit to the next other, to it. Uh, up to the other one, yeah. Yeah. I shall let you solve that while I run around and steal coins. So it's kind of cerebral, but not too much, if you don't know what I mean. Reloading here. And again, these are random every time you play through it. It's a bit different. Yeah. Not so hard. Nice! There we go, and you'll have some more treasure in there. Nice. I love the puzzles in this game, and there's so many different types. I mean, these are only a few in this first level. There's more, loads of the other different types later on. Nice! Nicely done. Are you stocked on ammo? Because we are coming up to a boss fight in a minute, like the last boss fight of the level. Um, so if you... How is your health at the minute? Um, health is uh, about three quarters. I've got a health potion. Okay, it's up to you. One of us should really use our potions and then grab the one by the door, because it's up to you. I mean, I'm, I'm you know. Um. Cool, and then you can grab that one. Sweet. Um, now, here we are. I'll let you go in this room first, because there's loads of money in here. There should be one last cat to shoot, and then the door will open. I just heard it meow. Oh, there it is behind yeah. us. Um, there we go. So if you go into the cat door, you go into the cat room, there's loads of money in there. Um, and they should yeah. just... Uh, just We're next here. to you. That's the one, yep. And there should be lots oh, of different ones. <laughs> and you can pick up that and it's worth money and there's a chest behind you and all sorts, yeah. Mystical Boggies! So that should help towards funds for guns. So, yep. Funds for guns! Funds for guns, yeah. <laughs> Toys for toddlers, but for adults. Yeah. <laughs> Slightly more grown up thing. And you're going to get a quick glimpse of the Witch Queen in a sec. Seteki. That's not who we have to fight, don't worry. Good lord, the queen of the damned. Are our heroes too Alea. late? Alea. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a... Have you still got your special weapon, by the way, that you bought from that trunk? I have. Yeah, this... What it's going to be... Do you want me to tell you, or do you want, to, do you want it to be a surprise? Uh, well, hang on, is there a there? Is there? <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. Must have... Oh, maybe I've already got yeah. that one. Um, Oh, there is a health potion down there, by the way. Don't go off the end of the stairs just yet, but it will just give you an idea of what's here. Um, this reminds me of the Everfall. <laughs> I know, it really is, doesn't it? I know, I thought that exact same thing when I first saw this. Um, there's a potion down there and an ammo bag at the back of the hall. Do you want me to tell you what's going to happen, or do you want it to be a surprise? Um, uh, you can clue me in if you like. Am I going to need my beastie weapon, first of all? Um, 
not initially. There will be a normal wave of enemies, and then you see that sarcophagus on the far side of the room near the double door. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, a mummy will come out of that who is quite tough, and he has this ability where he slams his hands into the ground, and it causes this like explosive shock wave to travel towards you. Um, yeah. When you kill him, he is quite susceptible to fire. More mummies will appear, and they are considerably tougher. And not only do they do the shock wave attack, but they also summon enemies. So the quicker you get rid of them, the less enemies will <laughs> be. Yeah. But, um, yeah, because yeah. the special weapon I've got is a Westminster, which is obviously scoped, so I need to kind of probably stay up on the stairs if I'm going to use that. It may not let that happen. It may force us both <laughs> to be down on the ground. I've got a horrible feeling, but I don't know. We'll oh, see. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to see what happens. Remember, you've oh, got yes, your got, uh, amulet yeah. ability. Oh, there's two potions, actually. There's one on the far side over there and one on this thing oh, here. Yeah, well, then it will hit. <laughs> okay, there's only one left now. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised I can shoot that. Let me try on the other one just to make sure. Stop shooting the potions! <laughs> Why are you doing this? Um, I'm going to go down and see if it'll see if it'll let it trigger it. If you stay there for a minute, see if it'll. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it will let oh you stay there. My. Looks like the local wildlife found Harbin long before the brigade. How? Even that, he needs a good meal. Yeah, I know you're skinny looking. Bastard. By the Lord Harry, this can't be good. The Lord Harry. Oh, heavens! I love the Bay movie film. What long forgotten I gotta wish you still got your mother. Will they even find out? Or will this terrifying tomb's residents prove to be too much for the strange brigade? Mummified miscreant. <laughs> I love the language. Oh yeah, hello there. No, it, it forced born me. <laughs> yeah, so watch out for the um, the bandage attack thing that he does. I'm gonna try and run up and blunderbuss them all. Ow! Oh, Jesus! Wait, they do quite a lot of damage. Those um, shockwave attacks. I just kind of ran into that one. Hell, this blunderbuss is rubbish! No! Oh, I just rolled into a bloody fire thing. I'm going to have to take a potion already, I haven't done anything! Pick it up! I like, F this blunderbuss, it's fucking terrible. Actually, it knocks people down. Oh, you are so sorry? Ouch! 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 Grenades if you got them! Smoke if you got them! There you go. <laughs> nice! Uh, I'm trying to see. Oh, there is another mummy right at the back of the room. Oh. Yeah, they take quite a lot of... They take quite a lot of hits. To be honest, Eek! There is another potion if you need it. Eek! I think the other one's gone up. Oops! Spider is around it. Okay, I've put, oh! put another mummy down. Nice. Get off, you freaking bandit! Right. Nice. If you need ammo, remember there's a load of ammo at the back. Is there another mummy or? Uh... Got a headshot with a bit of shotgun. Nice. <laughs> Oh, look out yeah, to the two, two side, yep, yeah, nice. I'll punch him in the back of the head. Nice. Punchy punch. Punch, punch, punch. Is there another mummy or are we just knocking it up? <laughs> well, I just did the uh, uh, judo roll thing into a mummy and he actually staggered back. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, it does have a sort of staggering effect on them, which is quite cool. Oh, I'm trying to see if there's... I've got my amulet that I haven't actually used yet. I kind of wanted to save it for a mummy. Jesus! That was my amulet <laughs> ability. What you use. <laughs> What's that, sorry? Yeah, whatever you unleash there. That the was simple a... quest to find yeah, that was the amulet thing. I kind of hit it, but he glowed red for a while, and he just exploded. Awoken and set loose upon the world. There we go. Here not, though. That is the, the intro level for Strange Brigade. Are on the case. Sure. I should have saved that replay there. Nice. What do you think of that intro level, then? Do you enjoy that? Yeah. 
Nice, nice. Oh, and we got a load of, we got a bit of extra coin then. We got a sharpshooter. You got bombardier for 68 grenade kills. <laughs> Freaking hell! And I got longest kill shot at 46 meters. Mind you, I did have a rifle, so it's fair enough. So you should have a stored gold thing in the bottom corner, and it will tell you what relics you've got as well. Um, if you want to go to inventory, um, you can obviously see if there's anything you want to buy at all. But um, yeah, so there should be various various kind of weapons in that way. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's nothing I really want to buy to be honest. Um, and yeah, I'm, it's unfortunately still to buy. Got a padlock, but it's saying I can buy. I don't know if I can then. Or uh, is there a bit where you have to push and hold X to 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 unlock it? Yeah. Or? Okay, so if you push and hold it, you should unlock it. But make sure it's one you want before you before you do that. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I say if you want to upgrade, if you push square, if you've got a high, a decent weapon, it'll have a space to put an augment. And I know you just picked up one, didn't you? Vampire one, I think, didn't you? Yeah. The rarest one is the one at the beginning, which just does more damage. They're quite rare. There's a vampire one, there's a headshot one, there's a burning bullets one, there's one that shoots through armour, there's one that's stabilising, which is good for automatic weapons, there's one that rebounds the bullets, or ricochets the bullets, there's an ice one, and a quickfire one for speeding up your freight of fire. So there's different gems you can put in your weapons. And some weapons have more slots available. So some you can put like three or four augments in, whereas some you can only put one in or whatever. So, so yeah, it's worth bearing in mind when you're, when you're choosing weapons.